Go away! Hey! Through the trees, a cougar stared him down. Cody McLaughlin says he took out his camera to record it in case the worst happened. I was yelling and screaming at it and waving my arms up in the air and it, it didn't care at all. It just kept coming towards me. Um, I, I just I felt hopeless like and it was terrifying for sure. McLaughlin was walking along popular flagpole trail just outside Nelson near the summit. He realized he was being tracked. I was walking by a pine tree and a cougar leaped out at me and it was like right at my feet and like hissing at me and stuff and then we both backed away from each other. After a stare down, the cougar left. But 20 minutes further down the trail, the big cat appeared again and suddenly charged at him. So I threw the rock at it when it was like 10 feet away from me. It continued to charge me and there, luckily there was a big stick beside me so I picked up the big stick and I whacked it in the head. The animal backed off and McLaughlin says he continued cautiously down the trail. He saw the cougar a third time, but it stayed away. People don't always report these interactions because they don't want the animals destroyed, but experts say they should. What can happen is if we don't call and let people know that there is unusual behavior happening, that more encounters will happen and someone can get hurt and the situation can escalate and uh, then there's no choice but to remove that animal. Go! After his encounter, McLaughlin called 911 and conservation officers met him along the trail. The BC Conservation Officer Service has recommended closing the trail to the public for two weeks and plan to reassess the situation. But I'll be bringing bear spray with me from now on, no matter what, like even if I just go on a short hike. Yeah, there he is. He hopes he'll never have a close call again. Mira Baines, CBC News, Vancouver.